Hello, welcome everybody. This is your host Subendu and in this video we are going to learn about roles and permission in Jetstream. So we'll use this feature to create simple blog example. We'll discuss about Teams feature in Jetstream and its use cases. Here I have created a fresh Laravel project. So while creating new project, make sure you run this command. Let me show it in terminal. So Laravel new and the name of your project and then dash dash chat and dash dash teams. So this will enable the team feature with all scaffolding. Otherwise you can just do dash dash chat and it will ask you a question and just uh, do yes while it asks to create teams. And you can install using uh, whatever stack you want. So I've created a new project and opened it up on VS Code. In this project, what I've done is, let me show you. So these routes come by default. Uh, I have created these routes for edit, blog edit, blog show and delete phase. So I've also created a blog management so I'll create a simple controller with uh, just dummy text. You can create page and uh, enable all the functionality. But in this video, we just focus on roles and permission offered by Jetstream and how we can use to create blog. So this is the edit page and we have show page and destroy page. All right, so here is our application. So to uh, create a blog, what you will do is uh, first you will register normally. Uh, like you used to register and whenever you register you'll see uh, something like this so let me open up any one user so here so my project name is l8 and then I'm logged in with this user whenever you register you'll see one team by default so it create the team with uh, your name so what we'll do is we have option to create new team or you can just go to team setting and rename it whatever you like so i will do youtube blog and save it so it is saved and now we'll see if we refresh we'll see our team name as youtube blog so this will be our blog and in this blog we'll invite other users and give permission accordingly so after doing that, uh, if we go and visit our page, let's open up new page, la.test slash blog slash edit. So this is edit page, show page, and delete page. So all page we can visit. And here, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, restrict some user so this user is the owner of this team. So uh, this user has all permission. And now what we'll do is we'll invite another user called editor. So for example, in our blog, we need editor. So we will invite the editor. So how we'll do that is by going to team setting. And here you'll add a team member. So here you'll add team member. So uh, to add team member, you'll need email address and for that you have to uh, register another user so suppose another user is already registered or you can register any other user so i have another user with name hitesh i've created registered that user i'll just log in with that user and let me show what so this is another user named hitesh and in this user if you see uh, this is uh, his default team so what we'll uh, like to do is uh, this is our main website blog. So we are creating a single blog. That's why we have this and we want to invite our uh, this user newly logged in user into our website. So email address is hit at la.com and we'll make them editor and add. So if we see here, this new team member is added with editor permission editor role. So I'll show you permission in a moment. And now if we go to this Hitesh, which is just edit and refresh. And if we see here, we'll see uh, two teams. So Hitesh team and YouTube blog. All right. So in this team setting, this Hitesh cannot alter anything. He can just leave or just see this. Whereas this owner can do all actions in team. All right. 
So after inviting new user to our blog, uh, we have to restrict uh, the permission for this newly created user. So suppose uh, uh, this is the delete route. Let me go to controller first. So I was experimenting something. That's why it is showing blog management controller. So now just comment this out. I will explain in a bit. And if we go to this, so this newly created user can visit delete page as well. So we uh, we are not allowing our newly created user, which is editor role, to delete the blog, right? So for that we have to restrict the permission for this Hitesh. So Hitesh is just an editor, right? Okay. So how do we do that? We have to go to our controller blog management and in destroy method, we have to restrict the permission. So uh, first what we need to do is, let me show you database. We have, if we refresh in this database, allied in teams, we have two teams. So this YouTube blog is our main blog and the ID is one. So you can grab ID from website. So for simple blog, uh, for only one blog, you can do this. We'll discuss in a moment about uh, multiple blocks and use cases of team, which you can expand if you want that. So what we'll do is first we'll get and grab the team. So team find one. So this team will be the, let me make it a bit bigger. So this team will be our YouTube blog team, which is our main blog. And we'll get the user. This will give us the authenticated user. And we'll check uh, the permission. So if user has permission to delete this blog. So the way we check is like this. So if this user has team permission. So we'll check permission rather than a rule. We have to check using permission. That way we have more control. So if user has permission to delete, then we'll allow them to delete, right? So we'll check negative. If permission has, if not has permission to delete, then we'll abort with 401 with message you cannot delete. Now if this Hitesh, which is editor, wants to delete something, let's go to blog and delete. It can edit, but it cannot delete. So we get unauthorized. So you can give unauthorized or redirect them to somewhere. You have all control here. You can do whatever you want. So now let me show you where these permissions are. So if we go to Zstream service provider, here you'll see all predefined role and permissions. So in our dashboard, we see just two whenever we want to. Let's go to honor and let me show where these are. So we can see these two roles, administrator and editor, which are defined in this Zstream service provider. And these are all roles. You can alter the roles from here. So editor do not have role to delete but admin can delete. So similarly, you can add another like this. You can add, for example, in WordPress, we have author. This is the slug and this is the display name author. And what we can uh, give author is a read. We do not uh, want them to create. We just want them to read and update. All right. So author can just, uh, yeah, you can give whatever, um, for example, you can do create update for author and for editor, you can only let them edit something. Yeah, this is you can do. So you can give whatever description you want. So after making change here, if we go to our team settings here, you will see another one author like so. Okay. So now you have control, you can make uh, any number of roles over here. And you can just invite them to 
your blog and let them uh, give them ability whatever you want so you can create the guest user or guest post so here uh, we, we can check similarly for show and edit you can also do so if you have subscriber then you can make another one called subscriber and then subscriber can only read uh, suppose you have uh, some blog where you have subscription service then you will create a new role using subscriber and give only permission to read and then in here so you can check like so and you have to get the team and pass the team and so if user do not have permission to so then you can do request user or you can do auth user same thing you cannot see or direct them to some subscription page or whatever you want here okay so th this is very basic about uh, roles and permission uh, that you can apply for your uh, blog if you are creating single blog then you can give ability to change alter it like so and uh, the real use case if you want to create a multiple blog suppose your uh, website is something like Quora in Quora every user can create their own blog uh, and there are some websites like medium and other where you can create your own blog and in such case what you can do is uh, you can have one uh, table called blog and in a blog table you'll have team ID foreign key and admin can only manage uh, that blog with team id suppose while creating blog you can uh, specify team id there and you can check uh, the if user belongs to in this team instead of just finding one you can just grab the team id from the blog and then you can check if a user has that permission on that particular blog so only change will be this part in in this case we are just hard coding or getting only one blog because we are creating only one blog suppose you are creating you have your user have their individual blog you can grab that team from here so there in documentation there are other methods uh, that you can utilize like so you can get current team so current team is whatever user is switched on so right now i have only one team that's why i can see this suppose i am in others team then i shouldn't be seeing that so if i go to this team so i'm no longer in youtube blog now i can i shouldn't be seeing that blog or i cannot be i shouldn't be able to edit that so for that we need to make slight change on this edit so we can just grab this code over here so we have YouTube blog and then user if has permission to edit then only we can allow them to edit sorry our perm permission name is update so if user has permission to update then only user can see edit page so now let's check in Hitesh let's see in let's see let's go to edit page yeah so this is edit page so right now user can go visit to edit page because this user is editor and if we want to just allow this user to edit the blog whenever user is in this uh, youtube blog role if user is switched to this role so this team then only we should allow them to edit page if your uh, website has such functionality then you have to add one more logic there right now uh, it doesn't uh, restrict the user now whatever the blog whatever team it is in so here you can check one more thing like and if users current team so current team so this is the method that uh, chess team provides us if we go there and yeah current team so current team should be it shouldn't be equal to like this team's id team id so if current team id so current teams you can give id like so 
if current team's ID doesn't match with team ID, then we shouldn't allow them. So you can just check what current team returns by doing current team. So current team gives the team instance and you can check this ID. Current team is this team. So we shouldn't allow them to edit whenever this ID doesn't match. So they should be on this particular team to edit the page. So let's go and refresh this. Yeah, so they can still view. Looks like we have some, oops, instead of and here is R. So we'll just throw this abort exception if user doesn't have permission or user doesn't belongs to current team. So this team. So all the user that doesn't belongs to this team shouldn't view this edit page. So right now if we see here, current user is in this team and if they want to edit, unauthorized so if this user switches to this youtube blog and we have already given the, uh, this user permission to edit now this user can view the edit page yeah so this is uh, the simple um, thing that comes out of the box in laravel 8 that you can utilize to create simple blog or whatever uh, your application is so you can also create a new middleware using this logic and just uh, put this middleware in your route directly that part i think you can do or just go and see how to create middleware and just put this logic and in handle method all right so this is about our roles and permission in jetstream hope you enjoyed it i will see you on another video bye